The Holy Spirit belongs to every believer. He is for the experienced and the new believer alike. The Holy Spirit is not a reward for the super spiritual, if ever there was such a group. The Holy Spirit is the only chance any of us have at being spiritual. The Holy Spirit is for both the spiritually strong and the spiritually struggling. He does not abandon us when we fail, and we never stop needing Him, even when we succeed. Acts chapter 2, verses 38 through 39 say, Peter replied, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you, to your children, and to those far away, all who have been called by the Lord our God. The Holy Spirit, the promise of the Father, is for all who believe. Though I sometimes fit into the charismatic category, I assure you that neither the Holy Spirit nor His baptism is reserved exclusively for Pentecostals or charismatics. We do not have a monopoly on His person or power. He is non-denominational. His fiery essence burns away the dry brush of barriers between brethren. He offers His assistance to all Christ-centered stripes, creeds, cultures, and methodologies. The Holy Spirit cares more about the Christ in your heart than the name of your church. He's for all who call Jesus Lord. The Holy Spirit is multicultural and multi-generational. He works in the TV preacher and the missionary on the foreign field. He is not racist, sexist, or prejudiced. He is for the young and the old, the poets and the intellectuals, the mature believers and the new converts, the wealthy and the poverty-stricken, the left and the right and the middle, the sick and the healthy, the introvert and the extrovert, ministers and business people, the creative and the cerebral, the organized and the spontaneous, parents and spouses, sons and daughters, the Holy Spirit is for all believers and His love brings us all together. Some of us are Jews, some are Gentiles, some are slaves and some are free. But we have all been baptized into one body by one Spirit and we all share the same Spirit. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. The Holy Spirit in me loves the Jesus in you. If Jesus is your King, if God is your Father, if the Holy Spirit dwells in you, then we are one. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email to sign up today. When you sign up, I will send you free digital downloads, including a free ebook, How Jesus Healed the Sick. Again, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.